Okay, so this video will be an example playthrough of Kill Dr. Lucky on the alternate downstairs board uh, with two players. So we'll have orange is player one, a normal human player, pink stranger, gray, uh, normal human player, and purple stranger. These will be orange's cards. These will be gray's cards. And orange is going to win this game using basically two tactics. Uh, one is loose riding, and loose riding is where you and the doctor are in the same room, it's your turn, and instead of moving to the next room, you move to the next next room. And then the doctor moves up, stranger moves down, doctor moves up, and you get activated again without your opponent taking a turn. Um, but the nice thing was that a lot of times you can loot a room or draw a card because the doctor can't see you while you're doctor riding. And then the other tactic is a stranger override where uh, you move a stranger into the same room as your opponent and the doctor goes there and the stranger, the stranger that is allied with your opponent is activated instead of your opponent they move down, and then either you or your your allied stranger is in the room afterwards, and you get activated, thus skipping your opponent's turn. Okay, let's start. So, first, Orange will use a move card to move to the greenhouse. One, two, and uh, Orange is moving here because it's the first room where you can be activated because remember Dr. Lucky has to or cannot activate anyone until everyone's taken a turn so that takes uh, four people four turns so one two three four first room to get activated okay uh, Orange for their action phase since no one can see them they draw a card so that card Dr. moves up and pink moves down, doctor moves up, it's Gray's turn. Gray decides to also use a move card to move uh, behind Orange, and uh, that way Orange can't do a bunch of doctor writing. Doctor writing. So Orange will be combo blocked by Gray. Doctor moves up, Purple Stranger moves down, doctor moves up, and Orange is activated, it is his turn, and he will use his free move to move pink to here to set up a stranger override, and then we'll use this move card to move purple here to complete the, the stranger override. So doctor moves up, Pink moves down, purple is activated, and moves down, doctor moves up, and orange moves to, to three. And Because remember, so purple's turn and then orange's turn. For orange's turn, orange moves to, to three, and they draw a card, because no one can see them. There we go. Uh, doctor moves up, pink moves down, doctor moves up. Okay, it's Orange's turn, so Orange is going to loose ride, so move to five so that they can uh, loot, that is draw a card. Doctor moves up, pink moves down, doctor moves up. Okay, uh, let us uh, loose ride another time to seven, draw a card. Doctor moves up, pink moves down, doctor moves up, and orange uh, will want to attack in 10 and wants purple to uh, attack in 12. So orange is going to close ride, and then orange is going to use their free move to move pink from 10 through the stairwell to 15. And that's going to set up the next stranger override. And uh, the move card will be used for the, the second move of this turn, which 
There you go, to continue the, the doctor writing. Okay, that turn is over. Doctor moves up, now activating orange, and orange will attack, and let's say they attack with one of the weapons that they had. So that is an attack of natural strength one plus two, so that's a three, and we'll have pink contribute to the defense. Okay, they're contributing two clovers, and gray needs to contribute one clover, and let's just pretend they contribute this. So this is three clovers in total. The attack is defeated. So orange gains a strength, and the doctor moves on. Oh, oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Before the attack, with the, the free move, orange moved purple there. My apologies. And then the attack happened. And then Doctor moves up. And then pink moves down. Doctor moves up. Uh, no one uh, can see purple and Doctor, so purple attacks. Uh, orange is first to defend and declines to defend. Pink contributes a random card. That's one, and so that's enough to defeat the attack. So purple gains a strength, and the doctor moves up. And now it's orange's turn, and orange moves from 10 to 15, and so that way uh, we again have a stranger override where pink gets activated, moves down, and now orange is activated. And now orange could move for it to one or to two. It is better that orange move to two so that when we get to, to five, uh, pink can't see us and so we can, can loot. So the reason we're moving to two is so that we can loot three times again. All right, orange moves to two and draws a card. Let's bring this in, there we go moves up, pink moves down, doctor moves up, okay, and then we move to three, and then we loose ride and draw a card, another movement card, that's good, because we need to do the, the a movement card to continue this kind of cycle, this loop of being able to do um, an attack, and an attack, and then a stranger override here, okay, so uh, yes, we just drew that card, doctor moves up, pink moves down, doctor moves up, we move to seven and we draw a card. There we go. Doctor moves up, pink moves down, doctor moves up. We do the same thing we did last time where with our free move, we move pink to here and then using up a movement card, we move to the billiard room. And then the doctor activates us, and then we attack with a weapon. Uh, let's say we attack with uh, this one. So it's two, so two plus two is four. Uh, oh, also this time, since purple's already in position, we don't have to, to move them. All right, so attack of strength four. Uh, pink contributes uh, one. And uh, so there's three remaining, um, but gray doesn't want to leave it to chance with purple maybe contributing nothing. So, uh, well, they're gonna contribute uh, four. And so the attack is defeated. There we go, now with the strength of three. Doctor moves on, pink moves down, doctor moves up, purple attacks with a strength of two, orange declines to contribute anything, pink contributes uh, nothing. All right, so this is uh, attack of, okay. So gray can just contribute two clovers to defeat the attack. All right, doctor moves up, it is now orange's turn. Orange moves here. Pink is activated, moves down. Orange is activated and uh, does the, the same thing. So moves to two. Draw 
draws a card. Who's to here? Draws a card. All right, moves to here, and hopefully we draw a move card. Oh, we don't draw a move card. Our luck finally ran out. Um, move cards are one third of the card, so you would expect to draw one move card for every three draws that you do. But there is like a seventy, only a seventy percent chance that you draw at least one. So there's like a thirty percent chance that you don't. All right, Doctor moves up. Pink moves down. Doctor moves up. And, okay, we don't have any move cards, but what we can do as orange, we can move to nine, doctor moves up, pink moves down, doctor moves up. Now, since pink just took a turn, when doctor moves here, it is actually orange that gets activated. And so orange moves to 10, doctor activates. And for the move component, uh, we move pink out of the way, and then we attack with, hey, guess what? We have a weapon for the billiard room, so we can attack with a strength of one, two, three, plus five, which is eight. Okay, so attacking with a strength of eight, eight minus two clovers from pink, and then minus two clovers from gray, and minus two clovers from purple, which is not enough, so six clovers, but an attack of eight, so orange won, and gray only got to take one turn. And again, what gray did to have such a commanding lead throughout the entire game was that they did a stranger override, and they did loose writing to draw cards so that they could keep on having move cards to set up the next stranger override while still getting to attack. And then also, like, this is um, the attacking here and then this getting activated, so that's kind of like a, a bounce attack where you want to, after you attack, you want your allied stranger to get activated so that you can then use a turn to get well situated. Um, okay, so that is an example of using just uh, stranger overrides and loose riding to really commandingly win a game. Okay, thank you.